It's been like over three years and we're still talking about this diet. Hey Cheap Bitches, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now most of you guys know me as the military diet guy. That's the name that you guys gave me. My name is Rob, but hey, I'm not mad about it because I've been called worse. I'm a loser, baby. Now this diet claims that you can lose up to 10 pounds in three days. And if you haven't seen my video, well, what are you waiting for? Click the playlist above. There you'll find this military diet and you'll find your most frequently asked questions because you guys ask a lot of questions. Now the most popular question is, is there any substitutions for the food in the diet? And even though I did a video on that, that's in the playlist too, just saying. Today I decided I'm going to try to quickly run down a list of all the substitutions for vegans, vegetarians, people with food allergies, or people I just don't like the food like I did. And on top of that, I'm even going to post it on my Instagram for those who follow me. All you gotta do is go to my Instagram on the cheap tip and go to the archive story labeled military diet. You just scroll through to the day that you need and it'll give it to you. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might wanna go do that. So without further ado, let's get to that list so we don't waste any more time because I talk a lot, sorry about it. Okay, so for breakfast day one, I had one slice of toast, two tablespoons of peanut butter, a half a grapefruit, one cup of black coffee. Now for the grapefruit, there's only one substitution and that's half a teaspoon of baking soda in a cup of water. The grapefruit is very alkaline and so is the baking soda and that's supposed to help balance out the pH levels in your stomach. I don't know the science behind it, but that's the reason why it's the only substitution. So sorry if you don't like it. <laughs> It's really not that bad though. For the slice of toast, you can have one eighth cup of sunflower seeds, a half cup of whole grain cereal, a half high protein bar, one fourth cup of yogurt with a half teaspoon of flax seeds, one tortilla, or two rice cakes. When I substituted the diet, I have the rice cakes, not too bad. For the peanut butter, you can substitute with two tablespoons of almond butter, cashew butter, pumpkin butter, soy butter, sunflower seed butter, hummus, bean dip, or two tablespoons of plain sunflower seeds. So for people who have nut allergies, there's definitely something there for you. For the coffee, you can substitute it for a cup of green tea. Basically, you want to have something that is caffeinated, which has very low calories, and those are pretty much the only things unless you get like a sugar-free Red Bull, but I don't really think that's too healthy for you. So if you're the kind of person that can't drink coffee or tea, you can just go with plain water. For lunch day one, I ate a half a cup of tuna, one slice of toast, one cup of black coffee. For those who hate tuna like I do or can't eat it because you're vegan or vegetarian, grilled sushi grade tuna, cottage cheese, chicken, tofu, almonds, and a half of avocado with two tablespoons of hummus. Avocado and hummus mixed together, that sounds interesting. That's a little weird, just saying. For the slice of toast, we've already run through this list, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. And for the black coffee, again, you can only have green tea, blah, blah, blah. We got that from the first one though, right? For dinner day one, I ate three ounces of any meat of your choice, a cup of green beans, a half a banana, one small apple, one cup of vanilla ice cream. Now for the meat substitution, this is mostly for vegans and vegetarians, and you can substitute it for lentils, beans, tofu, portobello mushrooms. For these, you want to make sure that they are the same amount of calories as the three ounce piece of meat. And that goes for pretty much all the substitutions I'm telling you. So if I don't give you a measurement, make sure that you are doing the same amount of calories. That's the most important part. For the green beans, you could substitute one cup of lettuce, tomatoes, spinach, or other green vegetables. For other green vegetables, I think they mean like green leafy green stuff, not like a green pepper or something, even though it's green. But I don't think that I want you to eat like a cup of peppers. You'd be dying of heartburn. For the half a banana, you can substitute two kiwis, one cup of papaya, two apricots, plums, grapes, applesauce. For the small apple, you can substitute plum, peach, grapes, zucchini, pear, dried apricots. And for the vanilla ice cream, which I don't know why you would want to substitute this, but I guess if you're vegan, you can't eat that. The substitutes are one cup of fruit flavored yogurt, apple juice, strawberry, vanilla, or banana flavored almond milk, dairy free ice cream. If you're vegan, you can still enjoy the ice cream. For breakfast day two, I ate one egg, one slice of toast, half a banana. For an egg substitute, you can do one cup of milk, one chicken wing. No oh, chicken wing? In the morning? Who the hell's gonna eat a chicken wing in the morning? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's the most healthiest choice. One fourth cup of seeds or nuts, 
two slices of bacon, a half cup of baked beans. And for the slice of toast and banana substitutions, I've already given you those, so here you go. For lunch day two, I ate one cup of cottage cheese, one hard boiled egg, five saltine crackers. Now for the cottage cheese, I did not care for it, so I wish I would have done one of these substitutions, and they are plain Greek yogurt, ricotta cheese, cheddar cheese, eggs, ham, tofu, or one cup of unsweetened soy, hemp, almond milk, and two tablespoons of hummus. I guess when they mention the two tablespoons of hummus, I think you're just supposed to eat it by itself because mixing it with milk, that's gross. For the hard boiled egg, for some reason, there's only one substitution and that's half an avocado. I know there was other substitutions for the other egg, but the hard boiled egg, they want you to do an avocado. I don't know why. To replace the five saltine crackers, rice cakes. That's it. <laughs> For dinner day two, I ate two hot dogs with no bun, half a cup of carrots, one cup of broccoli, half a banana, and a half a cup of vanilla ice cream. Now for the two hot dogs or franks or whatever you want to call them, because people correct me like crazy for this, you can substitute for two turkey dogs, soy dogs, tofu dogs, bratwurst, lunch meat, deli meat, bologna, lentils, and portobello mushrooms. Definitely some vegan and vegetarian options up in that. For the broccoli, you could substitute one cup of cauliflower, spinach, Brussels sprouts, or asparagus. For the carrots, the substitutions are squash, parsnip, beets, celery, bell pepper. Oh, I guess you can eat a bell pepper on this. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> I mean, I like peppers, but they don't like me, so I try to stay away. And for the half a banana and cup of vanilla ice cream, I've already given you those, so I'll just run them right here. Take a screenshot. Hopefully you got that. For breakfast day three, I ate five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, one small apple. Now for the five saltine crackers, we've already substituted this before and it's rice cakes. For the cheddar cheese, you can substitute one egg, cottage cheese, ham, soy cheese, soy milk, cabbage, tofu. And again, those have to be the same amount of calories as that one slice of cheddar cheese. And for the small apple, I've already given you these options, so here's the list. For lunch day three, I ate one egg, one slice of toast. Now for the egg substitute, they're actually giving you the same options as they gave you the first day, I believe. We had an egg, right? When did we eat that friggin' egg? Oh, breakfast day two. One cup of milk, one chicken wing. <laughs> Chicken wing just gets me every time. I mean, it's lunchtime, so the chicken wing's acceptable, but in the morning, come on. One fourth cup of seeds or nuts, two slices of bacon, a half avocado, or 20 almonds. So they do give you the extra option of 20 almonds for some reason this day. I don't know why, but it's an option, and it's vegan, so there you go. And for the toast, again, I've already given you this option. And finally, for dinner day three, I ate one cup of tuna, a half a banana, and one cup of vanilla ice cream. Now for the tuna on this day, the only substitution that was given was half a cup of canned chickpeas. As you can see, sometimes the substitutions change as you go along. I'm sure that has to do something with the process and the type of ingredients or whatever the food contains. I don't know. I'm just relaying this shit. And for the half a banana and one cup of vanilla ice cream, as before, it's the same, so here's that list. And that is it! There are no other substitutions besides these. Don't ask me if there's any extra ones, because there's not. This is the complete total list. But I do hope that it helped you guys figure out how to make this diet work for you, because that's what it's all about. I really want to make sure that it works for you and help you lose a couple of pounds. That's what we do on this channel. We help you with tips, free tips, because I'm just giving you a free diet. Except you have to buy the food, so I guess it's not that free. But free advice. Anyway, I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, make sure that you comment down below, and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out, because I just come out with them randomly sometimes. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Just say This diet claims that you can... Okay. The diet that... Com I had really great success... Post the bleh, vanilla, bleh, not milkshake. What am I talking about? Vanilla. Why do I keep saying milkshake? Milkshake brings other boys to the yard. I can't talk right now. Ah, oh, shut up. I'm gonna lose my place. Okay.